In this video, we're going to look at mutually exclusive events. Simply put, mutually exclusive events can't happen at the same time. Or you could say they have no common outcomes. Earlier on in your school days, you might have come across some of the cliche examples. So, a good example would be if you draw one card from a pack of cards, so a deck of cards, and it being both a club and red. We know that can't happen because clubs are black. So those two things, being a club and being red, are mutually exclusive. What I've drawn here is a Venn diagram showing mutually exclusive events. So event A and event B are mutually exclusive. What we can see is that it got no intersection. If we go back to the uh, addition rule for probability, we know the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability of A intersection B. Now, let's consider what we've got here. We can write this as the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. Now, think about our intersection here. We've got nothing. So this is going to be minus zero, which gives rise to this basic formula. So for mutually exclusive events, the addition rule becomes the probability of A union B is equal to the probability of A plus the probability of B. And that's essentially what you learnt in year seven or year eight. And it shows it quite nicely on here. No point of intersection, therefore we would be subtracting zero to leave us this. In this video, we'll do a nice basic example and hopefully it should make a bit of sense. So let's have a look then. Event A and event B are mutually exclusive and the probability of A is 0 0.2 and the probability of B is 0 0.5. Draw a Venn diagram to represent the two events. We need to find the probability of A union B and find the probability of A not or A dashed or the complement of A intersection B dashed or B not or the complement of B. So let's put in now probability of A, that's going to be 0 0.2. The probability of B is going to be 0 0.5. Now, we've got a sample space. All sample spaces are going to have to equal up to 1. So we've got 0 0.2 and 0 0.5. So outside, we're going to have 0 0.3. So let's consider the first bit. The probability of A union B is simply now going to be the probability of A plus the probability of B. That is the probability of A union B, which is going to be equal to 0 0.2 plus 0 0.5, which is going to be equal to 0 0.7. So we can say the probability of A union B is now going to be equal to 0 0.7. OK, nice and straightforward. The probability of not A and not B, well, that's going to be everything on the outside. So all we would do now, you might want to show a bit of work in, but essentially we should just simply spot that as the part that makes up the sample space, which is going to be 0 0.3. So as you can see, mutually exclusive events are fairly straightforward to deal with. We've just got to appreciate using the addition rule that they have no intersection, leaving us with this basic result here.